My name is Amy Hadley. I work in the Department of Dermatology at Mayo Clinic Arizona as a registered nurse. Today we're going to be going over the most important things to know about skin cancer, how to prevent them, and how to detect them. We will be going over pictures of what skin cancer can look like. I will also teach you about factors that can put you at risk for developing skin cancer, what you can do to lower those risks, and protect your skin from the harmful rays of the sun. You may not have any spots on your skin, or you may have hundreds of them. So how are you supposed to know what is okay and what isn't? If you have a spot that looks anything like the pictures I am about to show you, a spot that is continuously bleeding, not healing, painful, growing, or changing, it is important to have it looked at by your physician or dermatologist in a timely manner. Actinic keratoses, or AKs, are precancers that are scaly or rough. You can see the actinic keratosis on this gentleman's forehead. AKs are yellow tan to pink in color and may be tender. Some actinic keratoses are not easy to see, but you can feel a rough, scaly area on the skin. Actinic keratoses are treated because they have the potential of turning into a skin cancer called squamous cell carcinoma. Basal cell carcinoma, also called BCC, is pink to pearly in color. It may be a raised bump, flat, or ulcerated. The picture shows a basal cell carcinoma beneath the person's eye. This type of skin cancer tends to bleed and does not heal. Squamous cell carcinoma, also called SCC, is scaly, firm, and raised. The first picture on the top shows a squamous cell skin cancer on the ear. As they enlarge, they may ulcerate, as you can see in the bottom picture of the lip. SCCs may be tender and they may bleed. These are the A, B, C, D, E's of melanoma. When looking at your moles, look for asymmetry, two different looking parts of the mole, as shown in the first picture, an irregular border, multiple colors, and a mole larger than an eraser head, as shown in the bottom picture. It is important to look for moles that are evolving and changing as well. There are multiple factors that can increase your risk of developing skin cancer. Chronic sun exposure, skin type. Dermatologists use Fitzpatrick skin type to classify your level of risk. The lower the number, the higher the risk. Fitzpatrick type 1 is a person that is fair, has blonde or red hair, blue or green eyes, and burns easily. Fitzpatrick type 6 is dark skinned, black hair, and brown eyes, and never burns. Family history of skin cancer, especially those with a family history of melanoma, personal history of skin cancer or precancers, tanning bed use, multiple moles, history of sunburns, or taking immunosuppressant medications. Immunosuppressant medications weaken the immune system and make you more susceptible to developing skin cancers. Below are some examples of immunosuppressant medications such as Celsept, Dexamethasone, and Prograf. Avoidance is key in preventing skin cancer. Avoid sunlight whenever possible, especially during the peak hours from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Try to do your outdoor activities early in the morning or in the evening. Seek shade. Never lie out in the sun or go to tanning beds. It is important to wear sunscreen every day on sun exposed areas, such as the face, neck, ears, arms, and back of the hands. Make sure that you are applying the sunscreen liberally and thoroughly covering all areas of sun exposed skin. Reapply every two hours. Choose a sunscreen that is labeled broad spectrum, which helps protect against UVA and UVB rays of the sun. SPF with 30 or greater and wear a lip balm containing sunscreen daily. Sun protective clothing is the best form of protection from the sun aside from avoidance. Sun protective clothing is labeled by UPF, ultraviolet protection factor. 
When choosing sun protective clothing, look for clothing labeled with a UPF factor, such as UPF 50 or UPF 100. Wear long sleeves and long pants. Lightweight scarves to cover the V of the neck. Broad brimmed hats, especially if you have thin or no hair. Sunglasses that are labeled with a UVA and UVB protection. Here are some fun facts for you. A plain white cotton t-shirt is equivalent to about a UPF of only seven, while blue jeans are greater than a thousand. Your doctor may recommend for you to have skin checks every year depending on your risk factors. Detecting a skin cancer early is very important. If you notice a worrisome spot, as we discussed earlier, contact your dermatologist or primary care physician in a timely manner. Look at all of your skin every few months, looking for new or changing spots. Don't forget to look at your back, bottom, back of your thighs, the bottom of your feet, and in between your toes. Contact your primary care physician or dermatologist with any questions or concerns about your skin. For more information about skin cancer, visit www.mayoclinic.org.